Dan got a thing today. What thing did Dan? I don't know if today? I don't know if this is a thing Grady would be interested in. <laughs> it's a Nerf gun that shoots catnip pellets. <laughs> so you shoot these little discs at your cat, and they smell like drugs. I mean, you don't shoot them at the cat. You shoot them near, past near the, the cat, cat, and then the cat chases them, and they smell like drugs. And it's actually it made by Nerf, will... isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It also has a laser, so you can just have them chase the laser, um, or use that to prime them for chasing the drugs. See, the trouble. So far, is... we've only tried it with Peggy and Simba. See, see, the trouble is, um, catnip doesn't work on Grady, and he has he, has, oh. he doesn't care about lasers. Silver vine works, gotcha. but catnip doesn't work on. So it does jam a lot. It's not a well-made gun. It really isn't. So when the cats rise up, you're in danger. Yeah. You yeah. need it. You need Where can it. I get one? I think we got it at Petco. Yeah, we got it at Petco. And you can actually, we ordered it yesterday and it came in today by Instacart. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to need like more, 20 bucks. You need a more reliable weapon in bucks. order to protect yourself from the cats. I put it in. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's what I have 14 bags of treats for. <laughs> They'll run out eventually. You, you're going to need some more, it's a, you know, artillery involved there. But by then I will have convinced them to make me a loyal servant in their new regime. Lady Meanshaw says, never heard of Silver Vine. It's, it's kind of like a catnip that's not catnip, but it works on, it tends to work on cats that don't aren't affected by catnip. Yeah, because something like 20% of cats are not at all affected by catnip. Mm -hmm. um but usually those cats are, are affected by silver vine we have kicker toys that have catnip and silver vine so because Dottie's not affected by catnip but she does like the silver vine just you can also buy it in sticks just that, to, and it, if they'll chew on it it'll clean their teeth just merrily giving recreational drugs to our pets <laughs> nothing weird here but not meth. Not meth. That's true. Thank God. You're going to be like, that's one of the stories this week. How did you know? Well, <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's see. All right. Get that intro going because we have some stuff this week. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and prep everybody. We're ending on a feel good story. So, so don't worry. We'll get there. I, I think you'll like where we're going. Just follow us. We'll get there. Let's uh let's get that intro going. And each week, Catherine, ready to get our audience go out on the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring back here for a little segment we like to call fuck is wrong with you um we are going to start with someone did someone did a speed run of twitter um i don't know what that means you don't know what a speed run. okay there there is a a uh in the gaming community a speed run is when you attempt to complete a video game as fast as fucking possible any means necessary just to get it get from start to finish to break it you set a record to break a record that's a speed run okay um and i'm pretty sure there's like some other old people who don't know what that is too so we just educated them um so <laughs> anyway um so this dude the dude speed did a speed run of twitter and i am fucking wow because but on. Twitter is not a game. Yeah, that, that confuses me. You, you'll you'll see what I mean in a second. Like we say that uh, Trump did a speed run of uh, Watergate, uh, his presidency. Um, man threatened to blow up Disney executives' homes. Ranted about Activision. Sent 186 tweets in three hours. Wow. Jesus. And this was a brand new account. 
Uh, a man went on a prolific tweet storm ranting about a video game company's ongoing legal prob problems and threatening to blow up Disney executives' homes. Deputy <coughs> arrested Stephen James Jordan, 31, on Thursday, in Ellis County Jail. According to authorities, Jordan made a Twitter account on Sunday, August 8th. It went off the rails quickly based on the allegations. Jordan made 186 posts within three hours. Uh, the suspect made more than 200 tweets on the account. Jordan was arrested because he allegedly wrote Disney some threatening tweets going so far as to tag them. Quote, Disney, we will or we will blow up all of your execs houses with C4. Quote, Disney, I will toss a hand grenade through, misspelled, their loft window. Well, he spelled it right. He just used the wrong version of through. Um, Jordan, he made comments about Activision. Uh, Twitter suspended Jordan's account on Monday, August 9th. So. All right, I see what you mean now. In a day. In a, wow. That's a little over a tweet a minute. Three. I've been on Twitter over 10 years and I just earned my first 12 hour suspension. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> who'd, who'd, who'd you say the effort so, to? Like, that's <laughs> a lot of people. I told a lot of people to get <laughs> fucked. Like, like 10 people in one thread. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> He's a bad influence. I was such a nice person. <laughs> Little cartoon birds followed me everywhere I went. <laughs> hundred like by contrast this is amazing okay you can't just say i'm going to blow you up to someone that is not only can you not say it you certainly don't write it down no because you've created what we it's, it's a legal term you might not be familiar with it but you've created something called evidence Living fuck? Corpse just said it. This is what I mean when I say, like, when people think the internet isn't real life, LOL, it's just the internet. No. This, this no. is... Posted a $10,000 bond. His public defender entered a not guilty plea. Wouldn't me. I, I got hacked. <laughs> I fucking hate that. You little shit. We fucking know better. Don't be fucking cute. I, I Always guess. try it, though. Who, who, the, who the fuck is going to make a... Who is going to make your goddamn Twitter account and in 12 hours going to be like, oh, here's I, a new account. I'll fuck with... No. So what happened here? What? Like, well, I just want to know what happened here. I, like... Why, why Disney and Activision? Oh, well, that, that is, why, those are. Why this day of all days? Disney is one of those um, incel causes because Disney, because oh, yeah. Marvel, because Activision as well, too, because the whole, you know, the abuse. Because Marvel and Star Wars put girls in things. And that just can't. And wow. like once every 20 movies puts not a white person in things. Yeah. And that's, that's a problem. Yeah. You can make all the comments y'all want. I don't fucking care. I ain't gonna read them and they count as engagement. <laughs> <laughs> I read them. Between the time I started talking about Disney and the, and the time I said I ain't gonna read them, someone's already made like 10 fucking comments. Didn't even real, just yeah. like, didn't even finish the entire video. Ooh, just. Yeah, but but the forced diversity and Ray ruined Star Wars and but the, but the, but the, but the girls won't touch me. <laughs> we know. We know. All right. So this next one, it, it, it takes a special person to lose a fight with an inanimate object. But it takes an exceptional individual. Dan had a cat once that lost a fight with a cactus. Yeah. It, it takes an exceptional individual to lose a gunfight with an inanimate object. Oh, wow. Man okay. shoots, Washington man shoots fridge after soda can explodes. <laughs> now, I'm, I, th this is the second time we've talked about the city. Yakima? Is it because people got pissed when I said it wrong before? 
I think it's Yakima. Yeah, it's Yakima. It's Yakima, Washington. Okay. Um. Well, this is the second time we've talked about them. Police say a Yakima, Washington man is under arrest after he shot his refrigerator, believing someone was shooting at him after a soda can exploded. Someone inside your fridge? <laughs> oh, okay. it's, oh it's, it's worse than that. Police responded to the scene on Saturday after seeing reports the man had opened fire at a refrigerator. When police arrived, they said they found the man outside his home in an alleyway yelling incoherently with a gun lying in the middle of the road. There's got to be drugs involved. The man had been placing soda cans in the fridge when one exploded. He immediately pulled his pistol out of his waistband and fired around to the bottom of the fridge. The man later told police in the interview the people who live in the basement wanted to kill him and they had shot at him. <laughs> so he fired in self-defense. All right, so at least, like, he didn't think the Pillsbury Doughboy had a little tiny Glock made of croissant dough. No, 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 no. Investigators say that no one lives in the basement below the man. And in fact, there is no basement. Oh. So it's kind of worse. Well, I hope he gets the help he needs. <laughs> man was arrested and booked for second degree unlawful possession of a firearm. So it wasn't even a legal firearm. And I got to say, in America, it is so easy. It is ridiculously easy. It is insanely easy. It is frustratingly easy to get a legal firearm. You could open a box of fucking Cracker Jacks and get a firearm In a permit. lot of places, it's literally easier than getting a driver's license mm -hmm. or birth control. Or voting. Um, or voting. Yeah. yeah. And yet, how can it be? It's that far. And yet you still cannot get a legal firearm. Maybe because of the hallucinations. Yeah, maybe. There are drugs involved here. It's probably it's fucking it's always meth. It's always fucking meth. This sounds like meth. <laughs> it's, the, it's the asshole in the basement. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> It's always mad. So this is one that's going to strike home with a lot of our audience, though it shouldn't, because some of you are too young to be watching this. And yet you are anyway. Go to bed. Well, first smash that like button, then go to bed. Um, <laughs> that's important. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and smash that like button. Click that bell. Shameless shilling. Um, so I, I, this has been kind of, with all the other uh things during the pandemic that have gone into scarcity and all the weird get rich quick shit one of the things that popped up surprisingly was children's trading card games this became a pokemon cards magic the gathering digimon i know some some people on there just said magic the gathering is not a kids game i played it when i was 12 <laughs> it's a fucking kids game Back when I worked as a designer at corporate furniture store, my boss spent every weekend at Magic the Gathering tournaments. It's become the, the, the cards have become scarce and there have been scalpers. I've seen videos of people like, uh, like grown men and they all wear T-shirts and, and, and cargo shorts. Always. It's always T-shirts, cargo shorts. Sometimes it's, it's the shorts again because I got in so much trouble for that last time. And it's the pockets. Yeah, you know what? I'm a fucking woman. I haven't seen a pocket since 1993. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> they they no, always I'm not bitter. They got the cargo shorts, they've got the t-shirts. Sometimes it's the polo shirts. They got the reflective sunglasses. They've got the baseball caps. It's it's like a horde of these guys rushing into a target and buying up all the grown men buying up all the children's because there's a scarcity of them and people are flipping them for money. Well, of course, stupid people are going to be involved in this, too. Group allegedly steals rare Digimon cards and then tries to sell them back to the same Adelaide store. Oh, honey. Wow. Please say two men involved in stealing trading cards from an Adelaide business then went and tried to sell them back to the store the same day. 
two other people have also been charged over the alleged burglary of the gaming store in Adelaide's uh, CBD. Police said the group broke into the business and stole a large number of rare Digimon trading cards and board games sometime on Monday night or Tuesday morning. About 1.15 p.m. the same day, police say a man returned to the same store and tried to sell the allegedly stolen cards back. He didn't even wait till the next day. Didn't even wait. To... You didn't even go to the competition and sell them to Steve, Dave? <laughs> well, there might not have been one, but there were other options like Craigslist and eBay. eBay. But no, your criminal brilliance. You got to go back and say, hey, wow, what happened to your window? That's shitty. Hey, you know, you need some Digimon cards because I just happen to have these. And you know what? Oddly enough, these might be the exact same ones you lost. So it's fortuitous. Goodness, fate has smiled upon us this day. Staff called police and the man led officers to a nearby house where they found cards and games along with two other suspects. 3 p.m. Is this really a thing like black market like Pokemon cards? Wait for it. About 3 p.m. A separate man went to the same store and also wanted to sell Digimon cards. <laughs> but he was arrested by the so after the first dude came in, two hours later, another dude showed up like, hey, wow, what happened to your window? Say, I've got these Digimon cards. And <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Daryl hasn't come back. That's all right. Phase two. 41 year old Bel Air man, a 30 year old Adelaide woman, a 28 year old Adelaide man, a 28 year old Seton man, and a 41 year old man of no fixed address have all been charged with offenses, including serious criminal trespass, unlawful possession, and theft by receiving. A sixth person is being swapped by police. This was a Digimon card theft ring. There's. Fucking, and I love got they had to pad out the word count here. Digimon is short for digital monsters. I did not know that. <laughs> no more. And like, look, know. I'm not making fun of it because anything is a collector's item. Anything is valuable if somebody wants it enough. So I'm not making fun. I just legitimately had no idea that this was a thing. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's gone fucking wild. To the point where there's a black market. Yeah, because there's, there's a, there's, and you know what? I got to say, Wizards of the Coast, they're one of the main publishers of these. Ain't helping. Because of course they're not helping because it, it helps them to sell more cards. Like, just think about how hard it is to be a parent these days. Cause you got to have the sex yeah. talk. You got to have the drugs talk. You got to have the contraband Pokemon card talk. And you don't even know what that is. Don't forget the loot boxes on the Fortnites. Got to talk to kids know about what those words mean. <laughs> <laughs> you got to talk to your kid about dangers that are in a different language <laughs> that you don't fucking speak. Uh, well, our next one, we got video and oh my God, this, 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 this fucking asshole. Um, we all know this person. We have been in traffic with this person. This is the person who is far too important. You know them, you hate them. They are far too important. Well, this, this, this one time. Glorious schadenfreude. Let's, let's go to the tape. And has problems with these people. Car submerged in Maryland sinkhole after man drove in. Car was fully immersed in a huge sinkhole in Upper Marlboro, Marlboro, Maryland on Wednesday after the driver plowed through barriers and plunged in. <laughs> <laughs> the driver, I'm going to play that again. It's just like, it's so beautiful. The driver of a Cadillac sedan managed to get out on his own and was taken to a hospital with minor injuries. The car was completely underwater. A sinkhole covered nearly two lanes of traffic. Um, water officials say crews began traffic jam bullshit. Yeah, uh, crews began working to repair a broken 30 inch water main. Water main break created a large sinkhole. Um, crew set up cones and barriers around the hole. Now that that a sinkholes to 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 the parlance of our time ain't nothing to fuck with. Um, These are 
things that terrify me because they can happen literally anywhere at any time and like the earth just opens up and swallows shit well i mean earth's gotta eat right but it could happen like right now i could just be swallowed up by the planet with my whole house like the end of poltergeist um The driver pushed past the cones and barriers and plunged into the gaping pit. It wasn't immediately clear whether the driver had seen the bear. He saw the bear. Come on. The cones are giant orange cones. There's like 20 dudes in big reflective vests. There's trucks with the blinky lights. There's a sign with words on it saying, go the fuck around. It literally actually says, go the fuck around. It's Maryland. <laughs> it's an amazing game of fuck around and find out. Uh, it's, it's so, it's beautiful to look at, though. Driver skate yeah, the like, vehicles on. We, these people make Dan so fucking mad. Like, the people that are just more important than you. I think if he actually saw this happen, he would just, like, spontaneously orgasm in the car. <laughs> I would get out, point, and laugh. The, <laughs> like the, the kid from The Simpsons. The news reporter <laughs> fuck, is fucking pissed with this guy, too. Cruz worked in sweltering heat to hoist the car out of the sinkhole before 5 p.m. using tow trucks and ropes. The vehicle was loaded onto a flatbed truck and hauled away. Business owner Sammy Davis recently opened a southern seafood uh, restaurant nearby. It's frustrating to have to shut down. It would cost him eight to $10,000 a day. Well, you made it take longer for everybody else. And you know what? What what makes it beautiful is it's a Cadillac. It's a Cadillac SUV. So, you know, look, look, look at that. Look, 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 there's there. There it is. There it is. That shit was expensive. Hoisted the fuck out. Cadillac SUV. Bye bye. And I don't know if your insurance is going to cover dumbassery. That dumbassery insurance, that costs a lot extra. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, yeah. It's popular, but it's expensive. Pro- I don't think flow from progressive is going to help your ass. I don't think J.K. Simmons, he's going to make a commercial about it. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to help you. Did we, did, did we, did, did we fill their claim? Fuck no. <laughs> but we saw it, and that's what the commercial's about. <laughs> Uh, now, bum, 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 bum. Um, this is baffling, this next story, in, in ways I don't. We've, we've mentioned this before. Um, there's an old Lewis Black bit about the most. The, the, the phrase that a phrase that he, the most incomprehensible phrase I've ever heard. If it wasn't for my horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. <laughs> this brings that to mind. This is this is I I I dare you to make less sense. South Carolina man arrested, charged with stealing horse, hiding it in bedroom. I need the link. Hold on. <laughs> Fucking what? The suspect missed a few steps on that horse head in the bed thread. <laughs> Suspects also wanted on four active warrants. You're like this was the underpants gnomes version of the Godfather. A <laughs> <laughs> Connie County man is facing charges after authorities say he stole a full grown horse and then allegedly tried to hide it in a bedroom. <laughs> horse. You gotta be quiet, horse. They can't find you. They make you go home. Shh. You gotta be quiet. I'll give his you. Name, I'll, I'll give you carrots. Shh. His name's not Caligula, is it? <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> According to the incident report, deputies responded to the hundred block of County Lane in Mountain Rest, South Carolina, to reports the suspect had been seen riding down the road on a horse, and eventually taking it inside a home. Initially, deputies were unable to make contact with the suspect, hearing him speaking, but not being able to back out exactly what he was saying. 
Uh, what? I'll be right there. I'm. I'll be out. I'm gonna. Dispatch was able to contact the suspect's father, who was not far away. Told deputies that the home was his, and his son wasn't supposed to be there. Upon entering the home, deputies say in the report they found signs the horse may be nearby. Quote. I immediately observed there was horse feces in the living room. <laughs> we got a fucking detective here, everybody. You're going to make detective. <laughs> Promotion. Ex excuse me. I I'll get out of your hair. I'll get out of your hair. But one more thing. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. <laughs> Is that horse shit in the living room? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's mine. <laughs> a lot of roughage in your diet, huh? I, um, I, had a, I had a lot of Taco Bell yesterday. Deputy then demanded Ledger Horse Thief exit the bedroom. Initially, authorities said he complied, but then retreated when the deputy tried to take him into custody. It was at this time I observed a full-size quarter horse standing in the middle of the bedroom. Suspect was ultimately taken into custody without further incidents. Uh, deputies stated they read the man as Miranda rights, but quote, the only thing that made sense concerning the incident was the horse's name was Jubilee. What the fuck does that mean? How, what? I, I okay. Animals value at 6,500 and the owner added that she intends to pursue charges of theft of livestock. You were officially somehow in 2021. You have become a horse thief. You have become an actual of horse. Poor, well, the horse is fine, I guess. I know, but that's not like in an ideal. That's not an ideal environment for a horse to live in. <laughs> Was it staying? Like, did, he, did, he even, did, he, did he even have Netflix? <laughs> You, you're an actual, you're, you're an actual fucking horse. What the fuck? It's just like you took it. I, I can keep him in my bedroom, and I can feed him. And I'll walk him every day, and I promise I'll take care of him. I'll tuck Sorry, him I'm in at night. Great, stupid flashbacks. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red and Stimpy, that's a deep cut these days. All right. <laughs> And finally, the feel-good story I promised you. There are places in this, the American South that are still ridiculously, horribly, shockingly backward, um, where openly white supremacist material is not only on display, it's on sale. Well, this one group heroically did something about it. I have a picture to show you, and it is, it is glorious. This 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 will give you a smile for the week. <sighs> Groups say it vandalized Kennesaw Confederate paraphernalia store with Antifa Smurfs. Oh my! <laughs> Let's have a look there. there. There's your picture right there. There there's there's your headline. Um, if you look very closely, um, one of them has their has his dick out. Yeah. <laughs> A smurf with his dick out. <laughs> There's Papa Smurf flicking everybody two birds. What's on Papa Smurf's chest? Um, and the and anarchy symbol. The, it looks like it looks like the little walk sign from the streetlight. There, there's there, there's one. There's a uh, a Smurf about to hit a Confederate soldier done up as Azrael with a anti-Nazi bat. <laughs> Group said early Sunday it had vandalized the infamous Wildman's Confederate paraphernalia store in Kennesaw with Antifa Smurfs. The group, in decline, released photos of the changes to the mural, which had previously depicted two Civil War soldiers, and the name of the store, Wildman's Dent Myers Civil War Surplus and Herb Shop. Photos appear to show the Smurfs wearing Antifa style clothing doing various acts, including racing real fingers, urinating on one of the soldiers, and another rearing back to club the other soldier with a bat bearing an anti-Nazi logo. 
there's 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 there, there's a reporter who had to type this up just shaking their head and, and chuckling the whole way i was <laughs> and herb store <laughs> it, it raises questions it does um the group i need i need i need two confederate flags uh, I need some some rope, you know, for the luncheons. Oh, and some basil. <laughs> the group said it had visited the owner, Dent Myers, periodically over the course of six months, under the guise of being Civil War enthusiasts, and ultimately gained permission to work on the pre-existing mural that adorns the brick wall above the store. The group included video of Myers giving them permission to work on the mural, telling them, it's okay, you do anything you want to do. <laughs> don't say anything we'll put a bunch of antifa smurfs up there the indecline member responds with myers <clears throat> not appearing to quite register it <clears throat> wildman store with its array of confederate flags hanging outside its downtown storefront and a slew of white supremacist paraphernalia for sale inside it's frequently been a source of tension in the city which was once known for its old south style politics that included a mandate and all residents own guns it changed considerably in recent years voting for Biden most precincts in the 2020 election. <clears throat> this is this makes me so happy because not only they they fucking tricked his dumb ass. But it's What's beautiful. Like? Stop that. It's fucking beautiful. Look at I that. mean, it's well done art, too. It is gorgeous. Like they captured the style. They, they, they've got Gargamel as, as, a, as, as a rebel soldier. I, I about I to get a Molotov shoved up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> it does, there's there's a this, this dick out. <laughs> <laughs> Those kids are going places. They even told him, "Don't tell us anything." They told him exactly what they would fucking do. <laughs> Oh, you know why his dick is out? If you look carefully, he's actually peeing on Gargamel. Okay, true, but I want to put, uh, again... You can see the little splash of pee hitting Gargamel. <laughs> again, there's the Smurf with the dick out. I don't think canonically Smurfs even have dicks. I kind of wish it wasn't blurred, because I want to see what a Smurf dick looks like. <laughs> you know what, there's probably a porn parody out there. <laughs> I mean, does it just look like another one of their little nub tails? Except Again, on the front? This is not canonical. I have to point this out. This is not canon. <laughs> whatever they you whatever impression they may have, have, have speculated about a Smurf dick, this was not sanctioned. This is not official Smurf dick merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, you've seen Dr. Manhattan. Okay. Dr. Manhattan's dick was bigger than a Smurf. <laughs> They're only three apples high. <laughs> Where's that dick going with that Smurf? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This this just made I, me so happy. Yeah, I respect this. It's it's beautiful. They 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 technically and they covered their asses, which is what I love. Technically, what they did was completely, you can do anything. Okie dokie. All right. We got that on the record. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You white supremacist. Fuck. Fuck you. Does you Smurf it identify as female? They're all genderless otherwise. Okay. I can answer this for you. So in cartoon show Smurf canon, Smurfette. I don't know how Smurf re Smurfs reproduced before this, but they were all male. And in order to destroy them, Gargamel created Smurfette. He, like, lab grew a female Smurf, and she was evil. I mean, <clears throat> let's not eat. There's a lot to unpack there. And he just tossed her in there to cause trouble and ruin them. But with like the power of friendship and love they turned her around and she became a regular old smurf okay but where the fuck did sasset come from? the smurflings 
were kind of the same deal. Mm. They were all evil too. It was like the same, same second verse, same as the first. So both of the female Smurfs started out evil, which is misogynist as fuck, if you ask me. I know too much about Sasset because that used to be my online handle. Are you sure? Because I just swear to God, Sasset just showed up one season. They just fucking threw them but in there. But there were four of them. There yeah. were the Smurflings. There was her and like the redneck Smurf with his overalls undone. And somehow there was and a baby. Like, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know how they reproduce. Yeah, somehow. They don't really cover that. I don't know if they hatch from eggs or what. We're going to have the weirdest comments on this video. People are going to come. But Smurf that was like lab grown by Gargamel to fuck their shit up. People are going to start watching this video and they're going to look out the comments and be like, what the fuck? What? What the fuck happened? What? Smurf penises? What? Um, so yeah, the, we, we've learned things. Would you about be surprised Smurfs. anymore on this show? You've learned, you've learned things you didn't want to know about Smurfs tonight. Um, we've learned that you can't put a horse in your bedroom and that's not the perfect crime, my dude. You find a trailer, you find a stall, you find something to put the horse in that is not your bedroom. Because horse ain't going to be happy in your bedroom. You're not going to do the reboot of Mr. Ed. Like, it doesn't, the horse doesn't understand what the fuck carpet is. It's going to no. eat that shit. You've confused the horse. And then shit on that shit. Yeah, then shit on that shit. <laughs> this one with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we've, we've learned that, um, Sometimes just because you think you're more important than everybody else, it's not going to work out for you. Sometimes the universe has a way of giving you some fucking humility. We've, we've learned that maybe you shouldn't go back to the place where you stole your illegal goods to offload your illegal goods. That twice, two of them in the same day. Jesus Christ. Fucking idiots. That's um, not the strategic thinking that wins the Digimon tournament. We we've learned that uh, it is possible to lose a gunfight with a water with with, with the refrigerator. You you actually lost. You fucking lost it. I. Wow. And I mean, they're they're nuke proof. And finally, we've learned that. Yes, in the space of 12 hours, not only can your ass get banned from Twitter, you can get arrested for it, too. I mean, we joke about the Twitter police, but I kind of actually want Twitter police. The only way around that is to become president. That's true. Then you can say whatever you want on Twitter. Nobody you, can bother you. Until you get voted out and you have no power left. Oh! 